today, students, and today, I will be talking about flat transposition. Before we go to flat transposition, let me first discuss to you what is a sphere and what is a cylinder. So when we say sphere, it means that in all meridians of our lens, it has the same power. So for example, it's a lens. When you say sphere, it means that in all meridians of the lens, it has the same power. For example, minus 50 sphere. So that is a sphere. But when we say a cylinder, it means that in one meridian, it has a different power than the other. So if it has a different power in one of the meridian, that is a cylinder lens. How do you write a sphere? So for example, your patient has a minus one diopter a grade for distance. So you write it as minus one sphere. So we use SPH for just a shortcut for sphere. So that's the sphere. And how to write a sphero cylinder? A sphero cylinder is a combination of a sphere and a cylinder with together with the axis. For example, Minus one sphere combined with combined with minus fifty cylinder axis ninety. Ninety is against the rule. One eighty is with the rule. So you will learn more about it in your um, future subjects. This is an example of a sphero cylinder form. It has a sphere combined with a cylinder and an axis. So what is a cross cylinder? A cross cylinder is a combination of two cylinders. For example, minus 25 cylinder axis 90 combined with minus 75 cylinder axis 180 this is an example of a cross cylinder two cylinder combined sphero cylinder one sphero or one sphere combined with a cylinder and we have a sphere so that is how you write or how you identify a sphere a sphero seal and a cross cylinder form. Flat transposition. Flat transposition is a procedure or a set of formula and rules to use so that we can transpose a sphero cylinder form into another sphero cylinder form. A minus cylinder form to a plus cylinder form or a plus cylinder, cylinder form to a minus cylinder form and it also help us transpose a cross cylinder form to a sphero cylinder form and a sphero, a sphero cylinder form to a cross cylinder form so let's start flat transposition number one sphero seal to another sphero seal form so here in our example, we have a minus cylinder form. Minus 25 sphere combined with minus 50 cylinder axis 180. So we will transpose this into a positive or a plus cylinder form. So step number one is we will add algebraically the two values. We just add. First, we will add the two values, minus 0 0.25 plus negative 0 0.50. So, please get your calculators and compute with me. Don't forget to put the parentheses. 
plus negative 0.50 like this. The parentheses and then you have the add equals the answer is 0 0.75 okay so the 0 0.75 or the negative 0 0.75 will be our new sphere and next step is you will just bring down the cylinder and change the sign so from minus 0 0.50 cylinder it will become positive 0 0.50 seal and the last step is you change the axis 90 degrees away so if it's 180 it will become yes you're correct 90 axis 90 so our new form now is 0 point, negative 0 0.75 sphere combined with positive 50 cylinder axis 90. That is for a sphere seal to sphere seal transposition from a minus cylinder form to a positive cylinder form or positive cylinder form to a minus cylinder form. Now, let's try to put this plus cylinder form back to minus cylinder form so again step number one is you add algebraically the two values all right don't forget the parentheses okay so a negative 75 plus a positive 0.50 equals because this is a bigger value the answer will be negative 0.25 that will be our new sphere okay minus 75 plus positive 0.50 equals minus 0.25 because the bigger value has a negative sign and then we bring down the cylinder so it's plus 0 0.50 so when you bring it down, it, it will change the sign. So it will become minus. And last, you will change the axis 90 degrees away. So if 90, 90 plus 90 equals 180. So now we're back. We're back to the minus cylinder form. Next. We go to sphero cylinder to a cross cylinder form. We have the same example as a sphero seal to sphero seal. Minus or negative 0.25 sphere combined with minus 50 cylinder axis 180. So how to transpose this to a cross cylinder form? Step number one. You bring down the sphere. bring down the sphere and then we will assign an axis 90 degrees away from the original axis so minus 0 0.25 cylinder axis 90 degrees away from this one so that's 90 combined with so what's your another cylinder so you will add algebraically the 0 0.25 and the 0 0.50. So they both have the same a negative or a minus sign. So this will become, yes, correct. That's minus 75 cylinder and just copy the old axis. That is now our cross cylinder form this was our result in our previous um, transposition the sphero seal to cross cylinder form the minus 25 cylinder axis 90 combined with minus 75 cylinder axis 180 now 
we will transpose this cross cylinder to the minus cylinder form. The spheroid cylinder again has two forms. We have the minus and the plus cylinder form. So first, we will transpose this cross cylinder to a minus spherical or spheroid cylinder form. Step number one is you have to assign a new sphere, a less, minus, or a more, plus. So you have to select. So between 0 0.25 and 0 0.75, both are negative, which is the lesser, minus, or a more, plus? Negative 25 or a negative 75? Yes, you are correct. Minus or negative 0.25 is the lesser minus or more plus between the two. So, this will be our new sphere. Negative 0.25 sphere combined with. So, now to get a new cylinder, we have to add algebraically the two amounts. But this time, we have to change the sign of the amount that we made as a new sphere. So, for example, like this. Minus, you have to add this one. This is our new sphere, right? You have to add this to the another value. But you have to change the sign of this one. So, it will become... Minus 75 plus a positive 25. Okay? So again, step number one in transposition uh, in or in converting a cross cylinder to a sphere cylinder form. Number one step is you have to select a new sphere. So that new sphere should be less minus or more plus so we have to choose between or we have to choose on two amounts the negative 25 and the negative 75 if you compare the two minus 25 or negative 25 is the lesser minus so that will be our new sphere so we write it as a new sphere to have a new cylinder we have to add algebraically the two values. But we need to or we have to change the sign of the other or the other value or the value or the, the number that we use or we assigned as a new sphere. So here, minus 75 plus a positive 0.25. This is this one we just change the sign so this will become a minus 50 very good and now we will put a cylinder and the axis is the axis of the unused or the amount or the sphere or the value of the axis that we did not use so we did not use the minus 75 cylinder axis 180 so we will use the 180 axis so that is for the cross cylinder form to a negative or a minus cylinder form with the same example we will now convert a cross cylinder form to a positive spheroid cylinder form. So, on the same example, 0 0.25 cylinder axis 90 combined with negative 75 cylinder axis 180. It has the same um, steps with the, ne with the minus spheroid cylinder form, but we will just differ in the area of the axis okay so now let's start converting for the new sphere 
in the plus cylinder form, we will be choosing a more minus or a less plus as a new sphere. Negative 0.25 compared to a negative 0.75, the more minus here is the 75. So this will be our new sphere. My negative 75 sphere combined with. So our new cylinder also is we will add algebraically the two amounts. But we will change the sign of the amount that we assigned as a new sphere. So that's the minus 75. The minus 75 will become plus 75 add arbitrarily with negative 0.25 this one so the result is positive 50 why positive 50 because positive 75 is a higher value compared to a 25 and it has a positive sign so the sum will be positive point or a plus point 50 cylinder now the axis is 90 degrees away from our old axis so if it's 180 90 degrees away correct that's 90 so that will be our new axis so the Sphero cylinder or the positive sphere cylinder form is minus 75 sphere combined with positive 50 cylinder axis 90. So that's all for today. That was the discussion from a sphero or a sphere form, sphero cylinder form, cross cylinder form, and flat transposition. Let me leave you with a saying. That the only constant thing in this world is change. So we all change not because we want to, but because we need to. Thank you for watching. God bless and stay safe everybody.